My name is Laura Jane Grace, and I play in the band Against Me, and we chose the song People Who Died uh, by the Jim Carroll Band. A friend of mine put that song on a playlist, and I was running to the playlist, and this opportunity came up to be a part of this comp, and uh, that song struck me as a song that resonated and that would work really well for this, and that we would, as a band, have fun jamming on. I, I was introduced to Jim Carroll through Rancid. Jim Carroll's appearance on and out come the wolves. Uh, I was like 15, uh, 15 years old when that album came out. So that was a really like influential time for me. I was just getting into punk rock. Um, and that was also around the time that the movie The Basketball Diaries, which is based on Jim Carroll's life, came out. So um, I, I guess it was kind of like maybe a, a relative peak of commercial fame for Jim Carroll that I think uh, reintroduced him or introduced him to a lot of people that otherwise might not have been. I, I don't like to think about music in that way of like, like I can say music saved my life and I can say like Rancid introduced me to uh, Jim Carroll band, but I don't wanna say Rancid saved my life because it's not right to put people on pedestals like that. It, it is more about music itself, you know, being there for you. And that like really speaks to the idea of like, once you write a song and you put it out there in the world, in, in a way it's not yours anymore. And it is the listeners and their interpretation of it is just as real as your intention was when you wrote the song and put it out there in the world. You know, growing up for me, like, those ages that we're talking about here from like 13 years old till I was 18 years old, I always had music, you know? Um, there was a couple periods of times where like, I was forced to go and see pay, like professionals, to, to see like therapists. And sometimes those were good experiences, oftentimes there were bad experiences. Um, but nonetheless, just like continuing to try and continuing to reach out and not closing up was so important, you know? Yeah, I, you know, I, I just want to say like, if you are struggling, if you do need help, don't be afraid to reach out, please.